back like we never left. What is good, everybody? Today's video was inspired by a recent coaching session about how you need to think and embrace no contact with the right perspective. Now, you already know how I get down. I don't like to waste time, and I'm ready to get into it, so let's do that right now. There ain't really a perfect way to go no contact after the breakup, but there damn sure is a wrong way. And it starts with two things, the way you view both you and your ex, but also setting the right expectation. When I say the way you view you and your ex, I want you to consider how that relationship ended. I want you to think about what kind of maturity, character, communication, deceit, lies, whatever transpired during the relationship. And then I want you to juxtapose it to who you thought you were getting into that relationship with in the first place. We make so many promises about who we are and what we're gonna do in the beginning, don't we? And we try to prove that yes, I am a good partner, one who cares, one who understands, and one who is willing to compromise. But you do realize a mask can only be held on for so long, right? Before our true intentions, our true character, and true behavior start showing through. So tell me what you saw in the end. Tell me how your ex left your life, or how you walked away from that relationship. Of course there are always things left unsaid, some closure we may not feel like we got. But, and this is a big ass but, the reality of who we are, what our goals and our aspirations were in the form of that relationship, it all always shines through in the end, don't it? And when we fight for love, we think we're fighting together. Until you find out it may just have been you by your damn self. Upholding a love that never was really two people trying to make it work. It was, well, just two people. Now the second thing I said about expectations, I want you to think about your life. Whether you're successful, whether you're a great parent, a leader in your community, have had good previous relationships in the past that just might not have worked out. The facts you had to go no contact, to cleanse your soul, to stop disassociating because of hatred, infidelity, lies, or it just didn't work out and you need to go heal? The expectations we went in with? She Ain't no getting that disappointment away easily. Ain't no recouping the time you invested, the money that you spent, and now just for all of that to be null and void? That's gonna hurt anybody that has a real heart. The thing you gotta figure out during no contact though is that you couldn't have given them more of you to change them, to fix them, to make up for the deficiencies, or to help them see how good of a heart and your intentions were you had for them. So it's time for you to lean in during no contact. Lean into your resilience your ability to gain a new perspective, and forgiving yourself for not knowing what you didn't know about your ex before you actually had an opportunity to learn it. But don't just do that today, do it every single day until you find it easier to cope, easier to let go, easier to accept and embrace that your heart, oh, it was in the right place. And that's good enough, ain't it? Well, at least for the right one. Emphasis on the word right though, right? Or not? Nah. As always, thank you to every single one of you for tuning in and checking out this video today. If you're new to the channel, become official to the squad by hitting that subscribe subscribe button and that bell notification down bottom. Become an official part of a team that will always push you towards personal greatness. I'll be back soon with another new video, but in the meantime, have an amazing day. Stay strong and stay inspired. And as always, until I see you guys next time, peace.